happy holidays and today I'm gonna do a Christmas haul I'm gonna do my stocking stuffers and show you what I got for my boys stockings this year um, I got about $60 worth of stuff at the Dollar Tree I haven't really bought anything for stocking stuffers yet or for stockings period um, or any kind of like candy type stuff um, so anyways I'm gonna do this haul and show you some of the options that are available at the Dollar Tree um, please keep in mind that I'm filming this on the 22nd of December, so we only have a few days left till Christmas, so um, a lot of the stores have already been picked through, like as far as um, a lot of items, um, it's very limited on supply. So um, things like cookie tins and mugs and a lot of the actual like Christmas holiday specific stuff is pretty much non-existent. Like, the ornaments have all been picked through there's very limited stocking so just keep that in mind and you might have to go to another Dollar Tree in your area in my area we have I think there's five Dollar Trees in my general area but um, there's another one or actually another two in the next town over so uh, we have quite a few Dollar Trees to pick from in my area I live in Northern California so Anyways, let's just jump right into the haul and I'll show you some of the options for boys. This is kind of like gender neutral though. It's not like specific for boys or girls or whatever. So um, this would work for a boy or a girl, most everything I got. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you what I got. So I use, some of these things I do like pretty much every year and some were just like random things that I thought would be cute in their stocking or just stuff that they had left um, because I should I really should have done this earlier in the year or earlier in the month at least um, but I didn't I have a lot of other things going on so I put it off to the last minute so anyways let's just jump right into the hole and I'll show you what I got first thing I got some of this is not there's a few things in here that are random that's not gonna um, be going into their stocking um, but it's for this time of year kind of so just a few random things so just keep that in mind so all together I probably spent about $40 on stocking stuff first thing I got was these two things of Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cups I don't know why I want to call these Reese's but Reese's peanut butter cups Reese's are the little peanut butter ones like it's kind of like Skittles um, so I'm as I do this I'm gonna start packing up those stockings so these are the two stockings that I picked out this year. Sometimes I'll reuse stockings, but I didn't really like the stockings that they used last year, so I decided to get them new ones. So I'm just taking out the packaging, and I'm just going to stuff them as we go, so that would make it easier. So I wanted to grab things like this that were like kind of long and skinny, so this could kind of like stick out of the stocking like that. So those in there. Okay. Then I got these puzzles that were kind of tall and thin like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stick these in the actual stocking um, because the candy is probably going to take over but I might wrap these individually like some random gifts in like a gift bag just some random Dollar Tree stuff for an additional present. I got some Christmas cards because I'm late on doing Christmas cards. I usually do that by now, but um, I was going to do like a holiday um, photo, like a, a Christmassy kind of photo. That's how I usually do it is I just get a Christmassy photo and um, send it over to Walgreens and have them print out Christmas cards. And it's usually pretty reasonable in price around like 20 bucks or, and they usually have coupon codes for like 40 or 50% off or 25% off. So anyways, I didn't do that this year, but um, they did have a lot of Christmas cards left, so I just got this. So I figured this would be kind of neutral if, um, you know, it, it doesn't specifically say just Christmas. It says Merry Christmas and best wishes for Happy New Year. So if it comes after Christmas, it's it can be like more specifically for New Year's. So I thought that was cute. I got some chocolate covered cherry cordial marshmallow reindeer. So I'll split those up and put them in their stockings. I got these little tops. These are just like little light up tops that I'm going to put in there. So I'll put those in there. Kind of make it work because these stockings are very small. 
I mean, they're normal size stockings, but stockings in general are small. They don't fit a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got those in there. I got these dry erase markers because I'm going to write their names on the back of the stockings. And then I'll probably reuse those for next year, too. I end up liking those. I found this Titanic puzzle. My mom loves this movie, so I found out that was the only one they had. But um, my son, my oldest son, has been talking about this story a lot lately about the Titanic, and he was kind of obsessed with it. So I thought maybe it'd be cute for, like, for my mom and him to put a puzzle together because they're both really into Titanic. I got some um, real fruit, swirly bears. These are really healthy. They're Black Forest um, gummies, but they're more like fruit snacks, but they were in the candy aisle. So they're a little more healthy than candy. I just got some shampoo. Sometimes I'll use this for body wash too. And my youngest son likes to waste shampoo and body wash and bubble bath. So I use these for when he takes a bubble bath too. So yeah, that's just a cheap way to um, to get bubble bath. You can use that as bubble bath or body wash or whatever. I found this over by, kind of by like the marshmallows, and this is six bags, it's six oven bags for um, just like, I'm not sure how big these are, but I was thinking of doing another turkey or uh, doing a ham in one of these, but I don't know how big these are, so these might be individual size bags, I don't know. Anyways, if I don't use it specifically for Christmas cooking, I'll probably use it for just like meal prepping and stuff like that just a quick little cleanup type of dinner so got those i'm gonna try those out i got a couple of coloring books this one's gonna be for my older son and well i'm not sure maybe that'll be i don't know i haven't decided who's gonna do which one some cat food we're taking care of a cat that really it's not our cat but it kind of is our cat it's our neighbor's cat so he comes over and eats and then he goes and wanders around and probably goes to other neighbors too but we do buy food for him and he usually eats um, the little items ones it's like a little snap pack it's like a little double pack has like two servings in it so he really likes those from the Dollar Tree but I just got that just like as a backup in case I run out of those and it, the stores closed or something on Christmas like if I run out on Christmas Day or something um, so I got these little like Jenga sets and there was a really cute tutorial on these two where you can use these for making Christmas ornaments. What you do is you take three or four blocks and you glue them together and then you do like a little snowflake stencil or tree stencil, stencil it in and then paint it or however you want to do it. But And then add a little, um, some kind of little twine rope or something for the little hanger. So that's an option for these two. Um, they're all over YouTube tutorials on how to do those, or even on TikTok, I saw it too. Speaking of TikTok, I got these frostings. I have a video on TikTok on how to make Christmas fudge. It's two ingredient Christmas fudge. Um, so this is, for this, it's a peanut butter fudge. All you do is you take one of these and a, a little jar of peanut butter and you melt that all together. And you can put whatever kind of like, um, you know, toppings or anything into it, um, but that's like the basic recipe for two ingredient fudge. Just take one of these little Dollar Tree ones and it's like, a, I wanna say it's a 12 or 10 ounce uh, jar of peanut butter that you use with it. And then you could put like nuts in it, you could put, I've done Oreos in it. Um, they have these like Oreos that are latte Oreos. They're like thin ones about that big. I got it grocery outlet, chop those up and put it in there. Um, you could do nuts, marshmallows, pistachio, I mean, whatever, cranberries, whatever you think would go good with peanut butter. You could probably even um, swirl in, like, strawberry jam or something like that would be good. So check that out. I'll leave my link below to TikTok, and there's also just, like, a basic chocolate fudge recipe. Um, it's just carnation, or no, it's uh, sweetened condensed milk, a can of that with uh, a bag of chocolate chips. So that's the basic fudge recipe, um, the two ingredient fudge recipe, and you could add walnuts or chocolate chips or marshmallows or whatever whatever you want in your fudge. I got some Andy's mints. 
My oldest son loves chocolate and mint, so every time we go to Starbucks, he orders the mint java chip frappuccino, so he's really into that, so I grabbed those for both boys. I grabbed these for the boys, two Milky Ways, and I grabbed some M&Ms, I'll divide those up. It comes with six packs, so three in each. And then I grabbed this for my oldest son. This one is going to be for my younger son. So those two are going to go in their stockings. I got some strawberry flavored candies. These are good just to have around the house. Um, even when it's not the holidays, sometimes I'll buy these and put them in like a little glass jar for just having, you know, quick little picking up kind of candy sitting around. But I really like these and the boys like them too. So I got those. I got some playing cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this pack up and put one pack in each stocking. So I'll do that. And I got some little tins. I thought this was really cute. It's like a little mailbox. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, it's broken. It has like a little, little stand that goes up. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. No wonder it was in there. That was only one, but it's broken. I'll still use that though. I'll probably glue it on or something. I'm not sure. Got another hooky or fudge tin. They also have plastic ones too that I bought last time that are just uh, two in a pack. Just they're about this size, maybe a little smaller than this and about that tall. So not very big. Got some holiday cookies just to set on the table for Christmas. I got a couple packs of socks. I always buy their socks um, at the Dollar Tree around Christmas. Well, actually, you know what? Throughout the year, I buy them socks at the Dollar Tree because they lose them. We can never find one. It's like we always have these stray random socks. So I mainly buy them at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes I'll buy them on Amazon in a big pack or at Walmart in a big pack, but a lot of times I'll just buy them at the Dollar Tree. They also had a lot of good um, like women's socks, like really fuzzy type soft socks. So if you're looking for, you know, a quick little gift for like your mom or your sister or a friend, you could just get a little gift bag with tissue paper and put some random things like a candle and a pair of socks. And they have bath bombs and body wash and bath salts and stuff like that. So that'd be a cute little gift to give to someone as a little last minute gift or for a coworker or teacher or something like that. I got these little Marshmallow Santos. What else is in here? This was the only one they had, but it, I thought that was cute. And I thought it was cute what it says, too. So I'm going to put that out by, on our mantle, probably. And let's see what else we have. I got some of these little boxes. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but I think I'm probably going to um, use them for Pokemon cards. So I think that'll work for those or for some little toys. I haven't bought all of their stuff yet, so they still have a few things. I, actually, my oldest son needs about five more gifts. My youngest son needs a couple more gifts, and then I'm done. So i got some crayons to put with the coloring books for them. I got some Star Starburst favorite reds. So it just comes with the red and the pink, which those are my favorite flavors too. Another Christmas tin. These are perfect for giving to like a neighbor or a coworker or a friend or family member or whatever. So just put some, you know, like sugar cookies that you decorated, some fudge or whatever and stick those in there and stick a little bow on it. I got the boys, these little hot chocolate cups for their stockings and I might leave these out and um, just use these like right before the holidays like on Christmas Eve um, I think we're gonna have a chance to go look at Christmas lights but I'm not sure if we will or not we'll see but um yeah I'll probably leave these out because they're gonna probably take up a lot of space so I'll give those to them early and then I got myself a coffee mug this is kind of like neutral it's not like you can only use it around Christmas time so it says let it snow so I thought that was cute to use for winter even though it rarely snows where I live and then I got two cat 
calendars, one for my mom and one for us. This one says every moment matters and it just has like cute little sayings on the back like be kind, you matter, strong and brave, be fearless, just cute little sayings that are kind of like little motivational quotes. And then I got this one for my mom which I think she'll really like. I don't think she's bought a calendar for next year yet, so she'll probably be happy about that. So anyways, that's my haul. Um, I hope that gave you some ideas for stocking stuffers, and I'll probably post a picture and let you know what it looks like after I'm done with the stockings. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good holiday, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!